Hi everyone, I'm Rosemarie Miller here with Nina Babashiva, a senior reporter here at Forbes, here to discuss the latest updates of FTX's bankruptcy and where the customer's recovery stands. Thank you so much for joining me today, Nina. Thank you for having me. Absolutely. So Nina, what's the current state of FTX crypto exchange? Yes, so um, the founder Sam Bigman Fried is facing uh, his own criminal trial. Uh, FTX, meanwhile, is operating in bankruptcy mode, led by John J. Ray, the famous restructuring lawyer who led Enron through through bankruptcy. So the management um, is currently trying to assign value to the remaining parts of the FTX empire and liquidate various assets uh, to come up with a plan that could meet various claims against the exchange and its affiliate companies. So point blank, will FTX customers recover their funds? If so, how? I wish I could give you a straight answer. <laughs> I guess the shortest would be we don't know, but there is hope and I'll try to explain the moving parts here. So okay. earlier this month, FTX announced that customers can expect to receive over 90% of the exchange's distributable assets. The caveat is they didn't really say what those assets are and uh, what they're worth. Um, what that would mean in terms of recovery rates is also unknown. What we try to do is go into the filings um, and try to analyze the information to see if we could come up with an estimate. And based on what we piece together, it seems like customers could get most of their money back. Some investors try to come up with a number. Um, one of the sources we spoke with said it would come up to about 85 cents on the dollar. We have roughly the same number, but it's contingent upon many, many things, and I can get into all of that. Yeah, I'm curious because I believe I saw in your reporting that there could be issues if the net withdrawals were above $250,000. Could you elaborate on that? Sure. So before we get into this, I just want to get really clear um, that this is a very complicated bankruptcy because FTX had many subsidiaries, thousands of customers. There are many categories of assets involved, including cryptocurrencies, equity in private companies, funds still held with brokers, real estate. Um, and one category is um, what is called under the latest announcement uh, preference settlement. Basically, the estate is trying to claw back some of the assets that were withdrawn just before the bankruptcy when the panic ensued so that, um, you know, more customers could get uh, reimbursed. Um, and um, the uh, plan that they came up with, which is, you know, up for, will be up for court's consideration, is basically for the large customers who had uh, more than $250,000 in net withdrawals in the nine days preceding FTX's petition, um, they were offered a 15% haircut on their assets so that FTX could collect um, those funds and uh, redistribute it among you know, um, other customers. Now, um, this is all part of the latest proposal that FTX put forward this month, and they are expecting to file it under a broader amended plan by mid-December. And this then will be up for court to decide if, if they're okay with it. So the IRS, they're also in this. They claim that FTX owes it $44 billion, billion with a B. How will this affect the distributions? So the IRS's claims are obviously a big question. Um, their claims are filed under the classification admin priority, which worried a lot of people when, when the news came. Um, it could allow the IRS's claims to take precedence over the claims of other creditors. However, um, FTX says the IRS's claim is assumed to be subordinated in their filing. And sources we spoke with say that number, the $44 billion, is probably largely inflated because the agency, what uh, probably happened, they say, is that the agency took a look at all of this and just assigned the maximum possible value to um, you know, all the different categories of claims um, you put forward. So that number will likely go down. But 
uh, we, we haven't heard from the IRS. So this is all very much up in the air. Well, Nina, is there anything else on your radar that you believe should be on ours? Yeah, so, I mean, again, this is all still moving and there are a lot of uh, contingencies on this plan. Um, the crypto markets are constantly in flux. Um, some of the assets have appreciated in value and that will, of course, mm -hmm. play a part in the bankruptcy. Uh, a large part of um, all of this is FTX's venture portfolio. We'll see uh, whether the state would be able to um, exit some of some of um, those stakes and um, of course people probably heard about um, the artificial intelligence startup Anthropic that is now being valued reportedly between 20 and 30 billion dollars um, they are um, raising funds so um, FTX estate could appreciate um, because of that so very much is still up in the air. Um, FTX itself has not given you know, the exact number to what customers may expect uh, because they're still working through many of those um, details, but we'll be there to um, you know, track that and come up with the latest updates for you. Thank you so much for joining me today, Nina. Thank you.